Yo guys, we are here. We're back for another game. First time in like a month or two. But you know I had to roll out for the cup final. Biggest game in God knows how long. And I can't believe I'm saying that about a, cup, about a Carabao Cup final. But hey, right, we're here. We've got the opportunity to make a very big step forward. And obviously guarantee ourselves into Europe. <laughs> Even though I think that's the only realistic way we do it. Guys, like for today, like... I really don't want to think about the lineup. I don't want to think about my thoughts on the game. I just want Chelsea to win. I don't care how we do it. I don't care how good or how bad it looks. Just win. Just win. And like, it's better for the players. It's better for the manager. It's better for the fans. The club as a whole, we all get a little bit of relief for the first time in about 18 months. So Chelsea, you must. And we're literally begging you. I beg you, don't lose another final at Wembley. I cannot be asked for the six in a row record. We don't want that shit on our heads. So let's end this Wembley drought today. Big up everybody, like, subscribe as always. Up the fucking Chels. Early minutes of the game and we look like a mess right now. We can't string two free passes together. It's just looking rash. I'm scared on the big occasion. I hope we wake up. I really do, but this hasn't been a good start. Yes, good job, good job. 23 minutes in, we've got a little bit better over the last few minutes, but it's not been a good start. Still seeming a bit sloppy. We had a chance, blocked twice. I don't think it was clear cut or anything, it is what it is, but one scrappy goal, that's all we need. One scrappy goal. Fuck the scouts, Jackson, come on, come on, Jackson! Half time and thankfully it's still nil nil because like we've been hanging on for dear life for 45 minutes. We look so disjointed. Like our tactics are just get the ball, hoof it and hope. Thankfully we like even managed to make a goal even though it was offside. 
I think the game settled a little bit since the Gravenberg injury, but yeah, we, we have been second best by a mile. Just thank God it's still nil-nil. Bring on and Cuckoo. Let's see if we can have a bit more of a clue going forward. Let's hope the second half's better than the first, because we need that. And yeah, keep praying to God, because we need this. Big up. Yes. We have got to stop doing these hoof ball tactics. What is the point of long ball to Van Dyke? What's the point? Diaz shoots wide. We are just riding on luck in the grace of God. That's it. We barely even formulate enough, but seriously. Structure was a mess, 
individual EMS, get me out of this ground, get me out of here. Six losses in a fucking row at Wembley. Bin, get in the fucking bin. Well, there we go. Probably our best chance at a cup gone. Brilliant. Bottled it at the end in, in typical Spursy fashion with this Spursy dickhead in charge of my football club. But hey, trust the process. It's everybody else's fault except his. That structure was a joke. The game plan was a joke. Man said just hoof the ball up and just pray we can make something of it. It's fucking disgraceful. It's genuinely disgraceful the way we were playing. These men brought on about five random subs players I've never heard of and I think Joe Gomez and yet they still look more drilled than us they still look better than us they're still in more control than us <laughs> hey how much experience did that Liverpool team have at the end of the game someone tell me someone tell me because every time I talk about Poch I get called negative every time why did everybody look crap bar Petrovic why was our tactics just hoofball why is it against a Liverpool team that played fucking four days before this final? Look more drilled than us, look fitter than us. Why is all of that? Somebody tell me, oh wait, people don't want the answer. Because hey, you gotta trust the process, you gotta believe in the manager. We had chances and we should have buried them. Yeah, we should have. That was because Liverpool were tired towards the end of the game and they can actually run that excuse because they played four days ago. But I'm hearing, oh, we had to take off Chilwell because he was tired and that's why Chalabad had to come on. Like, what are we doing? What do we do in training? Because there's literally no style of play when we go forward. We just fucking make it up as we go along and hope we formulate some chances. It is a, it's a joke. It's a fucking joke the way that we play. But hey, one more trophy to go on Wednesday. Now we're tired because now we've got to play another game in four days. It's a fucking joke, mate. Look, I'm going to be live on my channel at like 8.30, 9 or something. I don't know. Whenever the fuck I get back. It's on therapy stream because I need it. But get this dickhead out. I want him sat before I get home. Get rid of him tonight.